everyone, Mr. Merkich here and today I've got part 14 on how to make a Discord chatbot and in this video I'm going to show you how to be able to give and take roles from certain users and also how to mute certain users which will just be using a role as well so that will just be using give and take a role um, so that's it's pretty much about roles um, what we're going to do is because it's fairly similar to all the other unbans and bans uh, what we'll do is we'll just copy we'll just copy it to save us time um, if you've been following along you should have all this code anyway that's why the only reason I'm doing it um, and because we want the admin check anyway I, I suppose you only want to uh, mute someone if you're an admin so there's your mute and then what you'll do is you'll have your user like usual you'll get them from the added users and what we'll do down here is what you or what you can do you can see we're checking if they have a role just like this um, you could have like a role um, except we'd only need it from this part here so what you can say is dim role is equal to that and you'll change the admin role to a muted role so in our server if I go into the testing server um, I'm going to go to my server settings go down to roles and I'm going to create a new role and it's going to be called muted and this role is going to have no permission so we're just going to remove every single permission not send the messages I guess that's the main one um, but because they're muted basically we'll just take everything away from them uh, just like that so now we've got the muted role so all we want to do is say uh, await user dot add roles and we'll just add them the role so now when we type mute they're going to be added to the muted role and then they have no permissions and then I guess we can say await just like usual um, message dot channel dot send message we'll say user dot name uh, was muted just like that and now I guess we'll just go ahead and make the unmuted one just for the purpose of it um, we'll just call it unmute I'm not sure if I already did this or not um, it feels like I have uh, but it's the same thing it said instead of add roles it's remove roles I believe well, if I wanted to spell that right remove, remove roles and we'll say was unmuted just like that and that should unmute them and mute them. Let me just check if we did do mute or not because it's it seems familiar. It seems like I have. No, I don't think I did. Hmm. So there uh, anyway, there's mute and unmute. That is how you'd mute and unmute a user. Um so next thing is how you'd give a role. And it's kinda like this. It's it's basically like this actually, where you'd get the role and the user and you just add them to the role. Um so I don't really need to show it but for the sake of it I'll show it anyway uh, what I'll do is again we can probably just copy the whole thing uh, we'll check if they're admin we'll call it uh, give we'll just call it give what we could do actually is just to make things a little bit different than usual is we'll take I believe I showed you it before where we had the arguments we got the arguments from within the command uh, when it was called so we'll take that actually and we'll put it in uh, when the admin's called what we'll do is uh, we'll get the user as usual we'll get the role and instead of putting it here um, like manually writing it in, what we'll do is we'll say args. Now I need to figure out which one it will be. It won't be zero. That's the command. Um, number one, probably. Yeah, number one can be the uh, the name. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And then uh, we'll just add it as usual. And what we'll do is we'll say instead of muted because we don't know what it is. Uh, was and we'll add on the argument 
just like that. Now it might not make sense depending on what you call it, um, but I'll show you what I think this is going to do in my head in action in a second. So what we'll do is uh, launch that up. The first thing I want to do is go to my server settings again. And actually I did make a mod roll and I don't think I'm in it. So what I'll do is is there a way to find my members? No members. Right, anyway, I don't think I'm a mod on this, so I'll give my I'll try and give myself a mod. So what I'll do is I'll type um, give and then I'll I'd say uh, give mod at Mr. Merkage. And what's that going to do? Because I've not actually tested this, so we've got an error. Um, additional information for if we forbidden. So, hmm. What we'll do is we won't, because when we put the true flag, it's a exact match. So we won't do the exact match. Uh, args one should be mod anyway. We'll try again uh, without the exact match. We'll say give mod Mr. Mackage. Don't know. We're getting a 403 forbidden. Um, let's try it the standard way just to be sure that it's not broken. So, what we'll do is we'll just we'll put mod in here manually and we'll put the true flag back, take the args away. Uh, we'll just say was updated because there is no way we know what they've been given yet. We'll just try it again without using that. Give mod Mr. Market. So no, we're, we're just getting a 403 forbidden. So I'm not too sure why. Um, when I just I literally gave a roll earlier. Um, so I'm not really too sure why. But the what I had. Before I just took that away with the arguments, uh, it it possibly it does work. So you can you can say give and then the role name, and then the user. So it would uh, give that user this role name for a command. So you don't have to have it all hard coded. Um, I'm just not too sure why I'm getting a 403 forbidden for. Um, it it doesn't mean the code's broken or anything. It's just deciding not to work. I'll try a lowercase m. So yeah, I'm just getting a 403 forbidden. Um, so I can't really help that, but I do know this works because I've tested it all previously. Um, probably the same goes for the mute as well, which I'll just try. Because I'll probably get a 403 forbidden for the mute as well. I'll try and mute myself, and I'll close TeamSpeak for some reason. I'll try and mute myself, and yeah, I'm getting a 403 forbidden. So, probably just a problem with the Discord API. Um, it's worthy to mention that um, the API we're using, 0.9.6, is getting depreciated. Um, there is an update for it, a beta version 1.0, so you might want to update to that if you can. Um, but I don't think I'll be making new videos for that new API. That's probably why, or what I think might be why, some of the things are not working anymore within here. Um, because the new one's uh, out now. And I'll just show you. You go to Tools, Package Manager, Get New, Get Packages. And we'll go to All. Uh, if this wants to work. We'll type in discord.net, and you can see I've got. Uh, I'm including pre-release. You yours should be on stable only. You'll see version 0 0.96. But if you go to include pre-release, you'll see it here, version 1.0.0. And there's a lot of. I will warn you, a lot of stuff's changed. It's a little bit different, um, but you can do a lot more within it. Uh, it's much better as well. Um, so that's that, I guess. Um, so that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.